Hi everyone, today I want to make a video to show you how to set up your AutoCAD window or work environment for a much faster performance while working on the program and a more efficient way of drawing. So first of all, if you open your CAD for the first time, it's going to look something like this. And uh, no, your workspace is going to be set to drafting and annotation. So it's going to look something like this the first time you open your AutoCAD program. And the first thing you want to do is you want to show the menu bar. Because there's a quite a few tools you're going to need in the menu bar, like the file, edit, view, insert, format, all of this you're going to use quite a lot. So to start with, you're going to click on that drop down menu there. And here where it says hide menu bar, you just click it to show you. You're going to click on show menu bar. Then the second thing you want to do is go to tools. Right at the bottom you go to options. And the first thing I want to change, if you can see the background of the AutoCAD window, you can see it's like a grayish color. It's not a true black color. So I'm going to select the colors and change that so that it shows black. And as you can see the difference, it looks much cleaner, much better, and it gives you a better working experience. And the second thing you want to do, this cross air size, you want to make it 100. And if I apply that and just say OK to show you what happened, as you see the cross air is now stretching over the full screen. So if you want to move an object from this side to the other side, you can line it up with the cross air and make for a more neat and easy to work with drawing. So the other options that you want, go to tools options, the open and save. Uh, by default it's going to jump to the newest AutoCAD version or the newest one uh, that's compatible with most drawings but you want to select the older version because if someone has a 2016 version of AutoCAD they won't be able to open the drawing that you sent them. So I skip past the LTs because that's AutoCAD Lite and go to 2007 DXF and you click apply. Next what you want to do is your user preference. Uh, inside your user preference you can select what measurements you want to use, in my case it's millimeters but there's inches as well. So you can change it up here in user preference and the fastest one or whatever helps me in my drawings is this right click customization. So let me just show you what I mean by changing the right click customization. So if I draw a circle, I pick the starting point, I drag it out, I can put in a dimension if I want, but to end this um, command that I'm in, I uh, have to click and it ends the command. So let's say I made a mistake and I draw a circle again and I want to end the command. Then I have to say enter or right click to say enter and it puts the circle the same as the previous one. So to delete or to remove that extra step that you need or that it shows where you have to select enter, I can just Go to Tools, Options, User Preference, the right click customization and make that click and enter. Apply, Apply, OK. Now if I draw a circle and I right click, it jumps without asking me to press enter. So it just saves you one step or one click which makes your drafting a little bit faster. So the next thing you want to do, I think we're finished with the options for now, let's just make sure there's nothing else we want to change. All of this stays the same, the modeling stays the same, this stays the same. So that's it for options. Now the next thing you want to, to change is what your cursor snaps to. So what I mean by snap if I draw a line and I want to draw another line so it gives me the option of the end point 
and the middle point and the end point again but in your basic setup or the first time you start AutoCAD this is not enabled I think as far as I know it only gives you so I went into the drafting settings by let's just cancel that so I can show you again this symbol over here you right click that object snap settings and then you select what you want so you want the end point to be enabled the midpoint to be enabled the center of a circle is quite important quadrant is an important one as well if you're working with circles intersection you use a lot and extension that's the only ones I always enable and it helps me a lot with my drawings so just to show you example or I showed you example of an end point and a midpoint I'm going to show you as example of a center of a circle so if I want to move this circle you see it gives me the center point where I can give one of the quadrants and move it to the center of my line or alternatively I can use that quadrant and move it to the end of the line or I can move it to the other side of the line or I can copy it to that side so to have a point to grab on in your drawing is quite important so but just select under your object snap settings which ones are important to you so I think that basically covers it and also sorry just one last thing I usually drag this bar down to fix to the side of the drawing and just extend it a bit up so I can see what commands I used and what the command line is asking me for information in my commands so thank you guys for watching I hope this helps you bye bye